PricewaterhouseCoopers is the largest professional services firm in the world. PwC clients navigating the maze of the United States tax code have an expert guide. Perhaps no one in Washington knows more about the collection of laws and regulations that Dave Camp describes as 10 times the size of the Bible, with none of the good news. Camp had taken his University of San Diego School of Law degree back to his hometown of Midland, Michigan, hung a shingle, and was settling into the contented life of a small town lawyer. But when the congressional seat representing the Midland area opened up, the lawyer became a candidate. Twelve terms later, Dave Camp retired from the House of Representatives, having built a legislative legacy that few of his contemporaries can rival. Among his achievements, he worked across the aisle with Congressional Democrats and President Bill Clinton to pass a welfare reform bill. He is especially proud of the Promoting Adoption and Legal Guardianship for Children in Foster Care Act that helps states find adoptive parents for foster children. When the GOP took control of the House following the 2010 midterm elections, Camp was named chairman of the powerful Tax Writing Ways and Means Committee. He immediately took direct aim at the four million word tax code and its Byzantine sets of laws and regulations. The work was as tedious as the political landscape was treacherous. Lawmakers from both parties announced their opposition to Camp's plan even as it was being written. In the midst of that work, Chairman Camp was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's large B-cell lymphoma. He could have resigned, could have done a lot more of what he truly loves, spending time with his family. But no one in the House chamber was surprised at Camp's announcement that he would continue his work between chemotherapy sessions. Camp beat cancer, but even he couldn't beat the atmosphere of a political climate where compromise had become apostasy. Having already announced his retirement, Chairman Camp as promised, introduced a comprehensive tax reform bill on the floor of the House. Also as promised, his colleagues voted to reject it. Bloomberg Business headlined the difference between politician and statesman. But in Washington, victories often come in increments. For most working for meaningful reform, the Camp Bill is the first serious effort at tax reform in 30 years and is the foundation for most working for essential reform. For a long, long time in the halls of Congress, there will be a lot more than an oil portrait to remind Americans of the leadership of Dave Camp.